So I managed to lose not just one credit card, but two credit cards. Yay me. So today I'm going to share with you some of my travel mishaps and how with the help of a few people and maybe a little wine, I was able to overcome it. Coming right up. Hello everybody. You are watching the Timeless Travel Club. I'm Andy and we're putting a spotlight on travel in Mexico. If travel in Mexico is something that interests you, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell. That way you'll be notified every time I publish a new video. My mishaps actually started happening in Acapulco and it carried on over in Mexico City. And this is where I had to sit myself down and assess everything that had gone wrong. And this is what we're going to share with you today. Let's have a look. If you've ever been on a vacation or if you ever traveled for work, you know that things can go wrong. Well, do I have a list for you? I invested in a new laptop. Um, it, it didn't arrive in time. I had to wait for it. So all of the peripheral things that I wanted to get together first, I wasn't able to do before the trip. So I learned once I landed in Acapulco that my external hard drive wasn't being recognized. So I did all this pre-work, all the things that would save me a ton of time was no longer available to me. Now there's things that naturally go wrong, but the, there are some things that you really don't expect to happen, like your own mistakes. I went to my hotel and my key card wouldn't work. I have a bad habit of putting my key cards with my credit cards, so they'll tend to demagnify. I went to the front desk and I asked them kindly to reprogram or remagnetize, remagnetize, I don't know what you call it, my key card. Not a problem, Senor Perez Chica. And then I had a, a simple question. So what time is checkout tomorrow? And I could see in his face there was something wrong. Senor Perez Chica, the checkout for you is in a half hour. Killing me! So I had gotten my days mixed up. So I ran upstairs, got everything together, got back downstairs, and I was a half hour late. Fiesta Americana, they're, they're really good to me at, in Acapulco, and they waived the fee. In my haste, I don't know what happened to it, but two credit cards turn up missing. Incredible. I go through everything. Eventually I found one. It was in my back pocket that I had sent to the lavanderia. When I picked up my clean laundry clothes, the lady held up the credit card. Is this yours? So thank God that that turned out okay. I jumped into a taxi and I really didn't know where to go because I wasn't expected at my next, at the condo I was going to be staying until the, the, the following day. But I went there anyway just to see what happened. I, I hadn't met the owner. Um, I got there, I rang the bell, somebody sticks his head over the wall, you know, so who are you? I just said my name Andy. Oh, Andy! So he welcomed me up. Thank goodness he had a room for me to stay. Actually, it was up in the, in the suite with a beautiful view. So I wasn't complaining about that. My friends Vicky and Drayton, these people help me so much. They really, you know how the mafia has these cleanup guys? That's kind of what they are. They just come in and take care of issues. 
they, they live in Acapulco, um, they're just really good at, at it and I really owe them a lot and I send out a thanks to you too for helping me out with regards to my stay. Drayton's parents, oh my goodness, you know, um, the condo is kind of up in a hill so it's away from the Costeta. There are no Oxos or little restaurants, there's nothing up there and not even taxis go up. You have to walk down about three or four minutes in order to find taxis. So there are times where, you know, I was getting hungry, but they always invited me up for breakfast. Whenever they cooked, they invited me down. So Van and Ellen, I appreciate you as well. Thank you for your hospitality and thank you for the meals and the coffee and everything you did to uh, support me. Of course, you all know that I'm new at being a YouTuber and I know things will go wrong, but even before I got there, things started to not seem right. For example, the day before, my dear friend and brother who lives in Acapulco uh, had a heart attack. So uh, my first day was spent in the hospital visiting him. Thank goodness he's okay. A couple weeks into the trip, my friend, my good friend Joe, he lost his wife while on vacation at the hotel. So uh, that, was, that was terrible. Um, so, yeah, I mean, so there was all these signs and something was telling me, you know, Andy, if this is how everything's going to be, wow, it, it's not going to be worth it. Plus, you are really, to let you all know, I'm, I'm really financing this myself. I had some help from my brother, Manny. So when things go wrong, things get more expensive. There are, are a lot of expenses, expenditures that you really don't plan on initially. So eventually, uh, my time was up in Acapulco. It was time to travel to Mexico City, and I thought, well, you know, this is going to be a great change of pace, and um, hopefully my luck's going to turn. The momentum is going to shift here. So I arrived in Mexico City. A good friend of mine, uh, Israel and Jose Alfredo, picked me up at the airport. Um, I had my Airbnb booked, and when he heard the neighborhood that I was in, already they looked at each other and they said, oh, no, Andy. We are not going to drop you off there. They actually drove me by the Airbnb and oh yeah, this was not a good place. Israel, he was not going to let me out of the car to stay in that location. So um, he says, you know Andy, you can, there's a $12 hotel that I know um, that will put you up in, at least temporarily to get you going. So we went there, they dropped me off. You know, I say dropped me off, but yeah, they, you know how they are. They carry my luggage. They talked to everybody, making sure that every, that I was okay, um, and that turned out to be the hotel from hell. It was incredibly bad and creepy. So, so I had received an email from um, Hotels.com, and they are offering 60% off discount within 24 hours. So I punched in some hotels to see what was available, and bingo! Finally, is my luck changing? I am now in a hotel that is right on the Socalo in the center square of Mexico City. Beautiful hotel, love the staff. Are you guys getting tired of all this yet? Because, <laughs> wow, it's, so, it's been so eventful. So I'm gonna stay in this beautiful hotel until Monday. That's gonna be a four day stay and then come back to Mexico City after I have uh, located some available Airbnbs. So, I think you are caught up. It's been quite a journey. Um, you know, I, I look at people who've inspired me to become a YouTuber or a travel content creator. And you know, most of them are couples, whether it be husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, friends. Uh, I, there's a couple of brothers that I, that I follow that travel. I'm, getting, I'm understanding that it's double difficult doing it solo. Because when things go wrong, somebody can at least edit the video. It takes me a full three days to complete a video from start to finish. That leaves you four other days to go out and shoot. Uh, things don't always go, go right when you're shooting. Time consuming. So I had to find a lavanderia. A, a lavanderia. So I had to find a lavanderia. That's as good as it's gonna get. In the neighborhood, they were all closed in the morning. I think I invested about an hour and 15 minutes just walking around downtown Mexico City looking for an available lavanderia. Whew. It was my goal to ultimately create two videos per week. 
barely I'm getting one done once a week. My new day is Sunday, every Sunday. Sometimes it's an eight day schedule to get out one video. I'm not giving up, I'm not giving in, um, and I'm looking forward to Morelia, Querétaro, and I'm very much looking forward to getting back to Mexico City. So hopefully you are getting something out of this. It's not just me traveling Mexico. That's really, well, that's part of it, actually. I kind of like doing it. But I, I wouldn't do it if there wasn't a reason to. So I'll catch you soon. Uh, stay tuned for the next video in Morelia. Ciao. Oh, you made it all the way through. Well, I guess that there's a lesson to be learned here. It would be to, at least for me anyway, it would be to slow down and make sure you evaluate things step by step and get help from anyone you can. There's, there's always going to be people out there that will help you, whether it's a friend of yours or a local. Uh, the Mexican people are very nice people and they love to help gringos like me and you. So thank you for watching to the very end. I know it was a lot. And be sure to hit that subscribe button, give my video a like, and make sure to hit that notification bell. That way, every episode that I publish, you'll be notified. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.